friends, how are you? Thank you for being here with me today. I, my name is Sarah and I talk about books on my channel. I usually read books that I find very cheaply in the thrift stores or for free on my local Buy Nothing group or sometimes there's a free bin at one of my local thrift stores, which means that I don't read many new releases. So today's video is gonna be a little different because I just read a new release. The title of the book is The Ivies. It was written by Alexa Dunn. It was published in May, 2021. And I, yeah, it's July now. I think that still counts as a new release. Uh, it would be classified as young adult, uh, murder mystery, crime, dark academia, uh, the main character is Olivia. She is a senior at an expensive boarding school named Claflin. She is there on a scholarship. And of course, she is surrounded by all these other students who are quite affluent. Their parents, you know, can pay for them to be there, can keep lawyers on retainer for them just in case anything goes wrong. All that kind of stuff. They, they all have the newest clothes, the newest iPhone, etc. Um, so she has been accepted into a clique known as the Ivies. They are known as the Ivies because they are laser focused on getting into the top universities in the country. This is the U.S., by the way, which we all know as the Ivies, the Ivy League. They are so focused on this that they have been working together to sabotage other students who are also trying to go to the Ivies. And that all goes on. It's been going on their entire high school career. And then close to the end of their first semester of their senior year, somebody gets murdered. Yeah, it's a murder mystery. Somebody gets murdered. There has to be a body. That murder is followed by more twists and, and revelations. And I won't go into all those because I don't want to spoil the book for you. Um, but I will tell you some of what I didn't love and did love about the book. I, in spite of the fact that I read a lot of YA and I enjoy YA, I don't particularly enjoy the teenage narrator's voice, even though it was done really well. <laughs> I have to admit it was done really well. I just didn't enjoy it. I think part of that is because it was written in first person present tense and I, I've i been uncomfortable with present tense since the first book I picked up that was written in present tense. It just isn't, it's not my favorite thing. I will say, however, that it was appropriate to this book. It was appropriate to the story that Dunn was telling. So, you know, it's not my favorite thing, but that doesn't mean it wasn't well done or it wasn't chosen thoughtfully, it, it was right for this story. Um, I did guess who did it. Um, I didn't guess all of the twists along the way, um, but I did guess who did it. And I think that's mostly because I've been reading murder mysteries for a long time. We won't say how long. I've been reading murder mysteries for a really long time. That said, I don't feel like Dunn gave it away. I, I think she dropped some hints that I, I didn't see all the hints, and yet, um, even though I, ch I knew who had done it, I didn't see all the hints that I should have seen along the way. So I think Dunn did a good job with that. One of the things I really, really love about this book is that she, the author did not take shortcuts with her characters. If there's a character arc, she doesn't cut it short and turn it into something else so that two people can become friends or so that two people can have a romance or so that somebody can be shown to be evil. Her characters are, for the most part, they're much more well-rounded than that. Um, they, they do good things, they do bad things, they can be kind, they can be cruel. Um, and I felt that the working out of the secondary plot lines was particularly expertly done. Really, really good, really well done. So who would like this book? If you like YA, if you like crime, um, if you like dark academia, you will probably enjoy this book. You won't like it if you can't stand YA. You won't like it if you cannot stand crime books. But if those are your things, I recommend you check this book out. It's really well done. 
It does exactly what it sets out to do, and it does it well. So, um, ultimately, I gave it five stars on Goodreads because it was really well done. Um, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Share it with anybody you think would be interested. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of my content. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything, hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me. You guys have a really, really great day. Thank you. Bye.